<laughs> That's my impression of Zane Riley. After he can't beat me, after I finish with his body. The other day after I got done with my match, a little baby boy came up to me and he said, my, my daddy told me if, if I end up like Effie, I'll be a disappointment. Why such pointed words from a child? All because his father's lowly hourly paid job and decaying love life made him lose sight of ambition, has to take it out on me. Around the world, all these sad people. They call me offensive slurs, they taunt me, they whisper under their breath about my true intentions. The outward hatred never reflects the look in their eyes, though. Fan, wrestler, man, woman, child, referee, they all desire what I stand for, what I live for. They all desire me. They want to live free of social stigmas about their feelings. They want to stand proudly in confrontation to the people who put expectations on their life. They want to stop beating themselves up because they never got to live the life they dreamed of. The loneliest place to spend eternity is your own life after you can't change it anymore. And that loneliness sure smells a lot like bitter desperation. Victory is the only objective I aim to claim. It's why business after business after business after business has paid me to push their products to the masses. It's why I just cast a check from the future president of the United States of America, Miss Hillary Clinton, so that I tell the people that she's worthy of the vote. She is. We're all moving forward. They pay for Effie because Effie delivers. You pay for Effie because Effie delivers. I am the path to the freedoms of desire. I am a well-placed landmine in a field of garbage. I am the most marketable corporate-sponsored sports entertainer of my or any generation. I am Effie. And I'm not far from you now. To the competitors and fans of Bushido Pro Wrestling. We're only a few weeks away from the biggest event of your life. Me. On May 7th. Effie is going to teach Zane Riley a real lesson about biting off more than they can chew, about making assumptions, about trying to impress people instead of trying to win. You better lock up your baby girls because we're going to have us a dang jamboree out there in the country barnyard. <laughs> <laughs>